Some was just after Do Re Mi. Okay. So might, yeah. And that's when Phyllis, yeah. You were asking about Phyllis before being in there. And she was, and she was. As a matter of fact, she won the Tony Award, finally. It was a tough struggle getting her into the show. I don't know why. We were plugging for her. We wanted only her. And somehow the producer had something against her. She had to come and re you know, audition and audition. audition. And she was perfect for so the Finally, spot. she had to audition just wearing a towel. Yeah, well, you have to say the character only wore a towel. Yes, in this, yes, uh, right. In right. this uh, thing, it was a collection of short stories about people who lived this sort of peripheral existence in New York. And there were uh, four main characters. and. Phyllis was one of them playing opposite Orson Bean, and uh, she was absolutely, we wrote this number for her, Shoe In. She's a Atlantic City Beauty Contest loser, and uh, she sings about her whole experience in this, I was a shoe in. It was tremendous, and she did win the Tony, which right. was very gratifying for everybody. Yeah. Right. And the song, the show also had some wonderful songs in it, some terrific numbers. Uh, yeah, there's a song called, called Comes Once in a Lifetime, which Tony Bennett recorded and Judy Garland recorded, and uh, that's a really wonderful song. Yeah. And Betty can sing wonderfully in French. <laughs> yeah. There's a second chorus of it in French. <laughs> 